Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to show you an application that I utilize every day to produce the videos that you see here. And the application is called Visual Hub. Visual Hub is the one-stop shop, I like to call it the Swiss Army Knife of video conversion software for the Mac. It can do just about anything you can think of and dream of. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in and show you the software. So let's open it. I'm going to go type uh, Visual Hub and the software is going to launch in a second okay and you see here the interface is very simple it's a tabbed interface which has several uh, qualities up here I mean several uh, formats the first tab here is iTunes and this is the one that I utilize the most and you can optimize your video for any type of iTunes device so I'm just gonna talk through my workflow and then you can see how I use it so here I have a video that I recently did which is uh, going on Buona.org tonight so I'm gonna drag and drop this now this thing was recorded on my Canon PowerShot TX1 in like 720p so right now the file size is 93.5 megabytes it's only like 10 seconds and I have another one that I gotta convert which is a gigabyte and you're gonna see well I'm not gonna show you the complete workflow but the file size has decreased by a tremendous amount using Visual Hub so I drag and drop that over onto Visual Hub it shows me the particular file name here and it's an AVI file now I have the option of converting this AVI to several formats I can convert it to an iTunes format with H.264 encoding I can optionally add it to iTunes and I can optimize it for a specific device whether it be iPods or Apple TV the iPhone the iPod touch and even the brand new Apple TV <laughs> they call it 5.1 which is Apple TV take two but I tend to use all devices this is the biggest audience I have so I use this particular profile but if I wanted to I can go over to PSP and do all the PSPs or just certain firmwares uh, I can do there's several options for each of these DV DVD you can author as DVDs now this is cool AVI just plain AVI or MPEG4 which is H.264 but not necessarily optimized for the iTunes and iPhone and Apple devices now I use this this particular profile when I want to upload the site such as Vimeo and I want a 720p a full-sized MPEG4 video but I want it to be uh, an H.264 so I use this one with go nuts as you can see it's set to go nuts and this is the quality slider here if you want it to be low quality with 56k or less type of connection then pick that or you say go nuts and it picks the, the highest quality available obviously there's WMV MPEG and flash you can actually convert flash isn't that cool so for this case I can say H.264 I'm not gonna add it to iTunes and I also have the ability to stitch videos together so I used to on Buona.tv have a bumper with all of my ads or if you have an intro you can stitch two videos together simply by dragging them in the order that you want them stitched and when you convert the final video it will create one video with both of those files so it's a convenient thing to do especially if you do bumpers and intros or when done you can open the destination folder quit Visual Hub shut down the computer put the computer to sleep since Visual Hub is a batch system you can batch add so many videos to this so say if I have 10 3 gigabyte videos and it's gonna take 4 or 5 hours to encode I can tell this thing to kick off tell it to do what it needs to do and when it's done shut down my computer or put my computer to sleep because I'm done with the computer for the night so when I come in in the morning I, have to worry, I don't have to worry about my computer still being on I can just leave it on like that now there are some advanced settings as well which I don't use and this is why they say don't you'll screw it all up and I take that to heart so I don't tend to touch these unless I need to force something or I want to force like a two pass to, to get rid of some errors or if I want to do something special with the audio but generally you don't have to touch this so my workflow is that I record a video on my Canon PowerShot TX1 I pop the, t the, the card out when I'm done and it mounts it and then I navigate to the video and then I drag and drop it to Visual Hub and then I click start and it encodes it and then I upload it to YouTube it's that simple and a Visual Hub makes it so easy and you can tell by the quality of my videos that it really 
does a great job and the file sizes are very very small you get great quality as a result alright this is Buona from Buona.tv this is Visual Hub you can visit them by going to visualhub.net enjoy <laughs>